I was born in 1913, uh, 15 months before the genocide. Since 1968, Michael Hagopian and the Armenian Film Foundation have created one of the largest archives of Armenian genocide survivor testimonies in the world. When I started seriously interviewing survivors, the motivation was to produce a film that would serve as documentation before an international tribunal. Right away, we moved our uh, tent moved someplace out because uh, there was a body there. During the course of the genocide, the men were usually taken out of the towns and, and killed nearby. Then the women were deported, mostly with their children. However, children became a burden, and uh, many of them were killed along the way. For over four decades, Hagopian filmed survivors and witnesses in 11 countries in 13 different languages. The first witness uh, that I filmed was Armin T. Wagner, the German uh, Red Cross worker who was in Turkey. He arrived just after the height of the genocide, and most of his pictures deal with what happened to the Armenians. In 1972, I came across Armenian survivors in Anjar province in the Bekaa Valley in Lebanon. These are survivors of Musada in Turkey, where they put up a resistance. Those went into my second film on the genocide, Forgotten Genocide. The Forgotten Genocide was one of the first films about the Armenian genocide to be shown on television in the United States. It was nominated for two Emmys. I tried not to lead my subjects. I did not say, for example, uh, was, it, was your journey hard? Or did you sleep at night? I'd say, what did you experience? I would ask questions of that type. I stayed away from interviews that were not eyewitnesses. Often I would ask, uh, were you there? Did you see it with your eyes? I could see the Euphrates River. I thought I saw bodies of people I knew. I would get close to the bank. I would see hundreds of naked human bodies passing by. In a half an hour, you would see more hundreds pass by. There were instances where it was very hard to get an interview, particularly with women. Many of them were raped and they were reluctant to say it in so many words. And then there were some others who hesitated to talk because uh, the agony was too great. When the Turks entered, the two fearful children ran away. The other ones saw that I was being beaten and started to yell, Auntie, Auntie, get lost, they said. They grabbed him and sliced his head off because the child loved me a great deal and didn't want the Turks to beat me up. So they cut off his head and cast it aside. I've got some 400 interviews of survivors and witnesses. And these are all on 60 millimeter film, professionally taken. And uh, they're the only 60 millimeter interviews that I know about. With nearly 400 testimonies of survivors and witnesses on film, Michael Hagopian made 12 films about the Armenian Genocide. Because his archive has broadcast quality footage, it has served television journalists and filmmakers in the United States and around the world. My interest is to let mankind know that Armenians experienced a period of attempted annihilation in that it's not an Armenian problem, it's a mankind's problem. You uh, cover up a genocide, uh, you're uh, setting yourself up for the next genocide. My motto when I started making educational films was that I trust that any of my films would create understanding and goodwill. You cannot create understanding if you do not tell the truth. Understanding is based on truth.